What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining me. I hope you like what you see. Please check out my other videos. I have other movie reviews as well as micro shorts and short films that I've done over the years. Please check those out if you like independent films and you like to just go on a search bar and look for short films and other you know movies that artists, other artists like myself create and like to support, please do that. I do appreciate it. If you like what you see, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment. I will get back to you. Keep it professional and I look forward to it. And to those that have been joining me and watching all my videos and just being in support, I do appreciate that as well. Thank you so much for joining me once again. And I am here with another movie review, Joyride, as I mentioned in the last movie review that I was going to discuss. And with the whole writer strike and SAG strike, which I'm in support of, I wasn't sure what I was able to do without being considered a scab or crossing the picket fence. But I was told that it's okay and I'm not making money for doing reviews. So, you know, here we are. I'm back with another movie review, Joyride, which stars Ashley Park, Stephanie Su, Sherry Cola, and Sabrina Wu. And to be honest, when I saw the trailer in the theaters, I was not impressed. Um, I just thought it was vulgar and just not interesting. I just not my type of comedy. I mean, I don't mind, you know, vulgar and sex jokes and stuff like that. It's like it doesn't bother me, but it just seemed like that's all it was, and it just... There was nothing going, to, you know. There was nothing to it in the trailer. I just didn't know what the hell the story was going to be about, um, or I might have kind of explained it, but I just I wasn't impressed by the trailer. And to be honest, going to see it in theaters because I was, you know, I was I was off on vacation for the week, and I just wanted to step out and watch something. And I decided to see Joyride. It was hilarious. The trailer did not do it justice. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. It's one of those films where you don't expect. To enjoy it and you actually enjoy it and it was one of my favorites of the year like the whole cast they were all funny and I want to see more of them um, I got a shout out I retweet actually because I retweeted you know that it was actually better than I thought because the trailer didn't do it justice I got retweeted by one of the actresses I believe it was Sherry Cola that she retweeted me and I thought that was cool because I was I was surprised I was surprised I was like enjoying it it was funny I enjoyed their chemistry together. Um, it focuses on Ashley Park's character, who happens to be, you know, raised in a white neighborhood. She was adopted by white parents, and in the beginning, she meets another set of parents. Um, no, so in the beginning, you see Sherry Cola's character, her parents, and she uh, she sees the white parents who come up to her um, to them, you know, the Chinese, and they ask her about if their daughter can play with. Uh, their daughter because you know they're white and the Chinese people are like, oh, all white people here and you know why would you want your daughter who's white to hang out with our daughter but it's because they adopted Ashley Park's character you know she's Chinese but later on there's more to that you realize I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it well then again it's this movie spoiler review right whoops so she actually happens to not be Chinese but she finds that out later she's Korean but anyways, that's how that friendship starts with Ashley Park and Sherry Cola's character and then the parents, you know, they always get together and whatnot. So Ashley Park, she grows up to be smart and become a lawyer and, you know, she's, you know, very dedicated in, her, you know, her, her work. And then you have Sherry Cola, who's the more artsy and just like the out there kind of friend that just, you know, sex and all that stuff. Um, but uh, it's you know they're different people but they live together and they're best of friends and Ashley Park's character she has to try to make a business deal so she has to go to China and she asks her friends to go with her um, especially because you know she doesn't know Chinese so Cherry Cola knows her character knows Chinese and she invites her other best friend who's an actress played by Stephanie uh, Su and then uh, uh, Sabrina Wu Dead Eyes the cousin of Cherry Cola comes along for the ride and it's just mayhem ensues and you know things are revealed truths are revealed and between you know them and how they're, they're feeling about each other and the situation and then it's of course you know for Ashley Park's main story of what she gets revealed that she's actually Korean when she goes to find her mother because originally she didn't want to but Sherry Cola's character tells her hey we gotta let's go see your mom let's go you know visit you've never met them you know your parents so she figures, you know, let's go see the mom, and originally she's against it, but then she decides to, and that's when she finds out her mom is dead, and yeah, she's actually Korean, and it was just 
a, a pleasant surprise again I, I really enjoyed it I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did and I was just like I want more from this group I want to see a sequel the way it ends they go to Paris and it's like I want to see what happens there because you do see that they go to Paris and they're eating and whatnot and the, you know, the ending but like I want to see like something come about from that or if there's another trip with all four of them um, of course you never want to beat a dead horse you know you if the first one works you never want to kind of ruin it with the second one pretty much like hangover which i enjoy hangover two and three i love the hangover trilogy i have no problems with two being like one but people don't really like that and that's the problem with hangover two they said it's the same thing like the first one and it's like whatever but like if they can do something and make it unique the second one i would be all for it because i love the cast I really enjoyed, you know, I've never seen any of them, to be honest, other than Stephanie Su, but from the actresses that I've seen in the film, I just was like, I want more. I think one of them is a comedian, stand-up comedian, comedian. I think it's Sherry Cola. I'm not sure, but I I really had a blast with it. I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot of sex jokes, there's drugs involved, and it's not like, hey, let's do drugs, because we like to do drugs, it's just the whole situation that happens, and of growth for each character, especially each one has their own growth throughout the film there's not one that kind of outshines the other i didn't feel i feel like each one had their own shine about them i thought it was pretty cool and i really i really loved it like i i like the cast a lot i want to see more from them and i look forward to seeing more so if you haven't seen joyride please check it out it was awesome it was fun again hopefully i made a lot of sense i know i was saying names and so much was going on in the film, but I would say check it out if you're looking for comedy. I had a blast, and I look forward to seeing more from them. And, uh, yeah, until next time, later.